cobalt to create beautiful blue lines on the plate in a Delft style. What I'm using here is cobalt oxide and the brush that I have is a special kind of uh, brush that has longer um, uh, hairs in the center that will make nice fine lines while the shorter hairs are holding the uh, colorant. I'm saying colorant instead of paint because this really is just pure minerals that I'm working with. I'm working here on the girl's dress and putting in the very fine wrinkles around her arms. Her arm is resting on a windowsill so I want to capture the way that the light is uh, playing on that dress and on her hair here. So I'm going to put some shadow on the bottom of her arm and in this arm I'm going to put some shadow on the sides. First off I'm starting out with uh, dark lines but later I'll finish with uh, a very pale shade of blue. Now here in her hands she's holding flowers and so I'm going to paint in those flowers. These are some roses and some daisies. stems on the flowers and some nice uh, leaves coming off of them as well. The leaves are much darker so I'm going to paint them in. Uh, that's a leaf from a daisy which is more ragged looking. how much uh, I got to paint with that brush before it gave out and I uh, switched. Now I'm putting some more paint into my brush. At this point I'm going to make it very thin so that I can paint some of those other shadows that I was talking about. So you can see that it's coming out a lighter gray color. is her hair and I want to indicate that the hair is darker underneath where it's shadowy. She has a little hat on here and I want to make sure that it has a different texture and color than the uh, rest of her hair. Now that gave out and I'm getting some more of the color on my brush. Once again I'm staying with the light, very uh, pale blue. I know it looks black but when it's fired it will come out blue. Get the shadows from the flowers adding a little bit more water to my uh, pale cobalt. Get some shadows inside the bouquet.
Now her dress is starting to shape up very nicely. I'm switching to a different brush, one that doesn't have such a thin uh, top on it, um, so that I can get some wider strokes in here. You have to be careful when you're watering it down that you don't get too much of the um, water and uh, the wash of uh, uh, cobalt on your brush or else you'll end up with puddles or with areas that are much darker than you wanted. working with all areas at once to keep them in the same even tone. As you can see I got a little bit too dark in this one area or darker than I wanted to so I'm going to kind of spread it out. You run a risk of making it look um, overworked when you do that. something else a little bit darker in just a minute. Okay, now back to the darker uh, mixture. Working with cobalt is quite a bit different than painting with regular paints because uh, it doesn't have the organic material in the paint that keeps it uh, absorbing the water. So it dries out very fast. You have to be really careful when you're working with it. It uh, will suddenly turn quite a bit darker than you expected um, just because it has dried on your brush somewhat. One of the things you have to realize is that this is a different medium. With It'll have different experience than what you have with uh, uh, paint. It is not the same kind of control, but it has a different beauty to it. A kind of casual, random uh, effect that can be very pleasing if you allow it. See, this is the bottom of his sleeve, so I don't want to color that in. And here on the back of her hair, this is going to be in shade here, and her sleeve is in shade. Right here on the front where the sunlight is hitting on her sleeve, I'm going to scratch out a bit of the shine. And then I have to thoroughly brush off the uh, part that I scratched because it has cobalt in it and that cobalt will create little flecks in the white area if I don't get it all off.